depression and lying in her own feces. You decided you needed a vacation. You left your act of betrayal, leaving your baby terrified, alone, unprotected, to suffer what I heard was the most gruesome death imaginable, with no food, no water, no protection, and lying in her own feces. You decided you needed a vacation. You left your baby, Jalen, trapped in a pack and play without food and water for 10 days. I'm going to sentence you to life in prison without the possibility of parole. You committed the ultimate act. Barakatayahoa, Barakatayahoa Shay, Barakatayahoa, Barakatayahoa Shay, Barakatayahoa, Barakatayahoa Shay, Bahashem, Rakah Kwadash. A double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone that taught us this truth. A hey, blessings and safety to the elect. All right. And, um, you know, from the short clip, you know, I didn't actually, you know, watch the full clip. All right. But from the short clip that I'm watching now, man, it seems as, you know, this woman, uh, she, she don't have any emotions about the situation, man. Okay. You know, she seemed to be upset about the sentencing and she seems to be upset about what the judge actually said, okay? But she, she's not, look, she's not showing any emotions right here, man, okay? And I actually did a lesson on this situation a few months back, okay? But, you know, the judge has said something, okay? You know, dealing with the way, you know, she left her toddler son to pretty much expire, man, okay? And he's going to mention it again. Act of betrayal, leaving your baby terrified alone, unprotected, to suffer what I heard was the most gruesome death imaginable, with no food, no water. All right, and the scriptures speak about that, okay, which, you know, a lot of you people, okay, are going to experience that death, man, okay? The Lord is going to starve a lot of you people out, man, okay? But just imagine, man, a toddler, man, who's not fully developed, okay, okay? To go out that type of way, man. You know? That was, I know it, it, it had to have been painful, man. Okay, yes, ultimately, it was judgment from Yahabah Shimi Shah, man. Okay? At the, at the end of all of us, yes, the Lord, that was judgment, okay? But Lamentations 4 and 9, it says, They that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger. You know? So it was better off for that child to take one to the head, man. Okay, then to go out that way, okay? Because that's a painful and suffering way to expire, man, okay? It says, they that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger for these pine away, stricken through for the want of the fruit of the field, man, okay? So when you starving and hungry and thirsty, okay, you, you know, at a, certain, at a certain period of time, man, your insides begin to eat your insides, man. Okay? And, you know, this was a very painful way to die, man. I'm going to just read 10. All right? It says, The hands of the pitiful woman have sodden their own children. They were their meat in the destruction of the daughter of my people, man. Okay? And that's about to happen at, a, at, a, at an all-time high, man. You know, a lot of these parents, especially these women, these single parents, man, they, they're going to eat their children and, and when that famine comes, man. When there's a uh, extreme scarcity of food and water, man, okay, they're they're gonna you know barbecue, little little baby J, man, okay, you know, hey, you know, but you know I wanted to get this uh, another precept, man, because like I said, man, this woman, nope, she doesn't have any emotions. Protection and lying in her own feces. You decided you needed a vacation. You left your baby Jalen trapped in a pack and play without food and water for 10 days. I'm going to sentence you to life in prison without the possibility of... Like I said, she looks angry, man. You know, I don't see any emotions. You know, I don't see her, you know, being sorrowful, you know, over the situation. And like I said, I'm, I, I just watched a short clip. But, I mean, it's pretty obvious, man. Where's the tears, you know? But, hey, man, hey, man, the scriptures talk about that, man. Hey, matter of fact, we in the Book of Lamentations. Um, 
I believe it's Lamentations, the third chapter. Uh, this is Lamentations 3. And, um... Doo -doo 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 -doo. It might be Lamentations 4. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yep, it's Lamentations 4 and 3. It says, Even the sea monster draw off out of the breast. They give suck to their young ones, man. You know, and she wasn't, I, I know this woman wasn't breastfeeding her child, man. Okay, and I guarantee that, you know. You know, she was shoving Similac down, down his throat, man. Okay. But it says, hey, man, even the, you know, the sea, the, the sea monsters, man, the mammals, man. Okay, give suck to their young ones, man. That's how a mother's supposed to be that attended to her, to her child, man. Okay, especially when a child, be, you know, first coming to the world, man. Okay, it says they give suck to their young ones. The daughter of my people is become cruel like the ostriches in the wilderness, man, because, you know, we know that an ostrich, a damn squishes eggs, man. Okay? And, you know, shit, man. You know, they, like I said, at the end of it all, man, it was judgment from your hot boss, Shimmy, that was job, man. You know, but, you know, this woman right here, she, she shows no mercy, man. No, no, no sorrowfulness, man. Get parole. Life without parole, man. Okay? And, you know, hey, <laughs> of course, you know, the, the, the judgment is going to continue, you know, once she get into prison, man, because you, you're going to have a lot of, you know, women in prison that may have went to prison due to, you know, uh, uh, you know, some other situations, but were great parents, okay? And, and in some cases, these women are never going to see your children again, man. So a woman like this come in in prison, okay? I remember Apostle mentioned it in one of his lessons before. Apostle Tahar, man. You know, these women in prison gonna get her hand. They gonna get hold of her, man. Okay, so the judgment is just gonna continue, okay? And, you know, if she make it out of that judgment, she'll be, uh, she'll, she'll uh, be reserved for that final judgment, you know? So, hey, you know, I hope this was edifying. You know, I'm going to end giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakah, Kodash. Hey, till next time, a hey, Shalom.